Considering we made peace, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Okay, so you know that I'm the game god, and I'm the super genius, and I'm the former host of GameSpot TV, and I bring you all of the good video game reviews that you love. Now, I'm talking about Brink, okay? This is a cool game, and it's a different type of thing. You're talking about like a team deathmatch, co-op deathmatch type of situation. Great graphics, it's got that really colorful look to it, almost like a cartoon aspect to it. And I want to talk about, this is a game review right here. Now, I like this game. I think it's good. Uh, uh, it, it's very accessible. It runs you through sort of a campaign type of thing. It's fun. It's easy. You do it online. You do the whole situation. You can choose from a lot of different weapons. You can choose from different body types, different appearances, different avatars, whatnot. You have different types of people that you can play. You have, you have different types of characters that you can play, if you will. You can uh, play uh, an engineer, you can play a medic, you can play a soldier, you can play an operative. You need to work cooperatively together to be able to achieve your missions and also to boost your combined strength. So that's very important. I like the teamwork aspect of this game. I like the look of the game. I like the way that it plays online very smooth and seamless. It all worked very, very well for me. There also is some challenges that you can do, and I highly recommend that you do those because it will give you access to additional um, uh, weapons and attachments and etc. like that. So, I want to show you about this game right here, and then I'll grade it on the flip. Check out Brink. So here you go. You can start off by throwing stuff to your teammates, helping them out. This is again, this is a team deathmatch game. Everybody helps each other. All the different classes have abilities that can help the other classes. You have to work as a team. But also within that, understand what your role is in that team and make sure you get it done. You can see here how my machine gun just rips through people very quickly. Plant the charge because that's what I do as a soldier. High explosive. Boom. Place that down. Ball on top. Behind enemy lines, doing it JDV style. Why well, the game guy, dude? I just take fools out. Just like this, they don't even know what hit them. Nothing, bro. Conduit destroyed. Well Got it. Now roll up. I like the look of this game. It's cool. It moves pretty fast. You know, again, for a network game, it's pretty smooth. And there you go. I like this game. I think it's very, very cool. Um, for me, it's a solid game. I wouldn't call it an elite game, but it's a solid game. And, you know, the more you play it, the more you sort of like it and get into it. It's fun. I would give this, you know, particularly if you like team deathmatch type of stuff when you wanted to work it online, I would give this a solid 8. Um, the story and the campaign itself is fine. Uh, but it's the, it's really the online the multiplayability and the you know cooperative team deathmatch and be able to replay often that I think is what gives this that extra level. That's where this game really really shines. So I think it was a lot of fun. I think that you'll like it. You tell me what you think. This is Brink. I'm John D. Villarreal. This is a video game review from Conservative Media, and of course, I'm the game god, the super genius, the former host of GameSpot TV. You tell me what you think. Give me the comments below, subscribe above. I'm JDV, and we'll see you next time.